This is a level two functional skills math paper from Edexcel. It's split into two parts. In part one, you can't use a calculator, but in part two, you can. There is a total of 16 marks for this section, for this part. Answer all questions, write your answers in the spaces provided. Work out 700, take away 7 squared. So we know through BitMath that we need to do 7 squared first. 7 squared is 7 times 7, which equals 49. So we're going to do 700, take away 49. Now we can't use a calculator here, so we're going to do it together. So we've got to take away 9 from the 0, and for that we need to borrow 1 from the digit next to it, which also happens to be 0, so we can't borrow 1. For that reason, we're going to borrow 1 from the 7 to make it a 6, so this one becomes a 10 now. Now that is easy to borrow 1 from, so I'm going to make it a 9 and give 1 to this. So it becomes 10, take away 9 equals 1, 9 take away 4 equals 5, 6 take away 0 is 6. So 651 is the answer. Here is a list of numbers. 29, 31, 46, 43, 29, 31, 38, 34, 43, 35, 43. Write down the mode of these numbers. The mode is the most common number. I can see 29 repeating itself. Then 31 as well. Forty six doesn't repeat itself. Forty three does, and then thirty eight doesn't, thirty four doesn't, and thirty five doesn't. So the number that repeats itself mostly is forty three because we've got three lots of it. So forty three is the mode of these numbers. Paula will run from her house to a local park and back to her house. She sees the sketch of the route she will take. What is the total distance of the route Ola will run? Give your answer as a mixed number. You must show your work in. So she's going to start from her house and then go to the park which is one and a quarter miles. And then from the park to the house, which is two and three eighths of a mile. So we'll add the whole numbers first. So one and two, that is three miles. Now we've got one quarter and three eighths. We're going to change the denominator to make it 8 for both of them. So 4 times 2 makes 8. 1 times 2 makes 2. 3 eighths, we don't need to change that because it's given like that. So we've got 5 eighths. So 3 and 5 eighths miles. Saima is making a filling for a cake. Sama mixes jam, sugar and soft cheese in the ratio 4 to 1 to 16. She uses 32 ounces of soft cheese. 
Saima knows that one ounce is 28.3 grams. How many grams of jam does Saima need? So first of all, we're going to rewrite the ratio. The four is for jam, one is for sugar, and 16 is for soft cheese. So, 32 ounces of soft cheese. So I'm going to put that under soft cheese. And we are actually interested in jam, the amount of jam. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it as ounces first and then we're going to convert into grams because we need to write the answer in grams. So to get from 16 to 32, we just multiply by 2. So we're going to do the same thing for the jam. 4 times 2 equals 8. So 8 ounces of jam are needed. Now we're going to convert this into grams. So 1 ounce is equal to 28.3 grams. What about 8 ounces? How many grams will that be? So to get from 1 to 8, we multiply it by 8. We're going to do the same thing to 28.3 multiplied by 8. That gives us 226.4 grams. Use estimation to show a check of your answer. In the final step, I did 28.3 times 8, and that gave me 226.4. So this time I'm going to do 30, so rounding 28.3 to 30, and multiply it by 8, and that gives me 240, which is something close to the answer we had. So that shows we've done the calculation correctly. Question four, Jack is a jeweler. He makes a pendant in the shape of a triangular prism as shown in the diagram. Jack makes a pendant from solid gold. He uses this formula. V equals T times L, where V is the volume of a triangular prism. T is the area of the triangular face. L is the length of the prism. Jack knows that mass is equal to density times volume. The density of gold is 19 grams per cubic centimeter. The cost of one gram of gold is 40 pounds. Jack sells the pendant for 382 pounds, more than the total cost of the gold needed to make the pendant. How much does Jack sell the pendant for? We'll go back to the first steps where we're given the formula for volume and we're going to use volume in the next step as well so we've got the shape and we've got the formula we're going to use t the area of the triangular face and that is this one here and the area of a triangle we know that we work out by multiplying base with the height so base here is one centimeter height is three centimeters and then that's divided by two so three over two equals 1.5 so t is equal to 1.5 now length of the prism is four centimeters as we can see so l equals four so to find the volume we're going to multiply these two together so that is equal to six 
centimeters cubed. Now we've got to work out the mass. So mass is equal to density times volume. We've got volume already. The density we are being given is 19 grams per cubic centimeter. The cost of one gram of gold is 40. So we're going to work out the mass because we don't know the mass. So mass, the density is 19 times the volume, which is 6, 114 grams because we input grams in here. One gram costs 40 pounds, so we've got 114 grams times 40. Uh, that is 4,560 pounds. So Jack sells the pendant for 382 pounds more than the total cost. So this was the cost. We're going to add 382 to that, and that is 4,942 pounds, and that's how much he sold it for. And this is the end of this part.